It all started on July 21st in a game at Dodger Stadium between the Dodgers and Giants, and Mookie Betts walked up to the plate against Giants left-handed reliever Harlan Garcia, hitting the third pitch of the at-bat and sending it deep into the LA night for a three-run home run to give the Dodgers a three-run lead. The Dodgers ended up winning that game and the next three sweeping the series. The Dodgers soon then took on the Giants again, this time in San Francisco, and things got a little heated and spicy during their final game in the series. Fun Dodger fact, Trey Turner has the long Leonardo DiCaprio speech from the Wolf of Wall Street memorized and literally performs it on the team bus on occasion. The Dodgers seem to love this movie, because you have that, and you also have what seems to be their signature celebration whenever they do something good during a game. What that celebration is, is cupping their hand and hitting it on the side of their head. It's a reference to when DiCaprio hits a microphone on his head during the same movie. That celebration really must have annoyed Harlan Garcia, because he couldn't be more ready to troll the Dodgers with their own celebration. After striking Cody Bellinger out, Garcia went on to do the Wolf of Wall Street celebration. Okay, a little subtle, nothing crazy, and then he struck out Outman and did it again, this time looking and pointing right at Mookie Betts, who was on the on-deck circle. The two exchanged some words, Mookie told him to come on over, Gabe Kapler was then seen throwing a tirade with the umpires, got ejected, and things just ended up getting worse for the Giants. In the very next inning, the literal Leonardo DiCaprio impersonator Trey Turner hit a home run, and the Dodgers dugout went wild. The entire team trolled and mocked the Giants right back by all doing the microphone on the head celebration. It's kind of weird on Garcia's end to be doing that celebration and trying to troll the Dodgers when your team had lost seven in a row to them and was actually down in the game at that point. A game in which they'd lose, dropping eight in a row to the Dodgers, which is tied for the longest win streak by either team in the rivalry since they both moved to California in 1958. The Dodgers won every single one of those eight straight wins against the Giants by at least two runs and are now ahead of them by 21 and a half games in the standings. To put it nicely, it was not a good day for the San Francisco Giants. It sure was a great day for the Dodgers. By the way, I'm a Red Sox fan, but I'm not going to lie and say I don't love Dodgers Mookie Betts. Of course I wish he was still in Boston, but I won't deny that Mookie looks so good in a Dodgers uniform and is of course having a ton of fun. I mean, look at this totally rated E for Everyone celebration by Mookie and his teammates. And to bring on John Brebbia and Mookie Betts greets him with a three-run home run. Let the kids play.